October 20th, 2017. Variety of stuff happening this week, beginning with news of the latest anime by Shoji Kawamori coming spring 2018. It'll be called Jushinki Pandora. Uh, for those who don't know, Shoji Kawamori um, is behind uh, Macross, Escaflone, Aquarion, and other pretty major uh, pr uh, products. This will be a TV anime series with Mecha, as he loves doing. Uh, what's quite interesting is it is Chinese themed. The uh, main character appears to be ethnically Chinese. His name is Leon Lau, and uh, uh, th that is the guy. And there's a girl called Chloe Lau, who are siblings not in, by blood but by sort of um, uh, by accident, if you will. There was this event called the Sh the Shanglong Crisis, which caused basically an apocalyptic event, and they're living after that. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. Um, it looks like it's going to start as kind of a uh, sort of slice of life post-apocalyptic thing, which seems to be a more common thing now, and uh, then transition into sort of action-y mecha anime type thing. So that is coming. He, <laughs> Kawamori did stress in the announcement that the show would not be musically themed the way, say, Macross and AKB48 is. Um, so there will not be you know characters singing musical numbers and things like that in the show. Um, uh, I, I guess he's just kind of moved on from there for now, but that's cool. Cool, uh, cool that we're getting more stuff from Kawamori. Uh, also, we have another new anime series coming called Creatures Family Days. This is interesting because it's a Japanese-Taiwanese co-production uh, that will air on Japanese and Taiwanese television simultaneously. So it's not just production stuff. It is an anime adaptation of a uh, Japanese uh, manga, I believe. Yes, a manga. And it will be a television anime um, with uh, all the other kind of stuff you'd expect from an, an anime series. Uh, it focuses on a family where uh, the parents are both mad scientists and they've experimented on all their children. Uh, and so they all have weird you know, powers or, or abilities and things. They're all modded humans, essentially. Uh, one of them actually has like insect legs on her back, weird things like that. Um, but it, it's a comedy, it looks like. So it should be an interesting, you know, fun kind of, uh, uh, kind of a show coming up. And interesting that we're getting a co-production between Japan and Taiwan on that one. Moving on, um, a story from The Verge. Netflix has mentioned on Monday that uh, their plans are to release 30 new anime series that they're producing in 2018. Again, they are planning to produce 30 new anime series for release next year. Um, we don't know anything more than that, um, but that's pretty nuts. Now, to be clear, also, you know, they're, they're planning to have half of their library be original content by the end of, of next year. That's part of this, their overlying sort of plan on that. Uh, so they kind of need a lot of anime stuff. So that's pretty nuts. And uh, we'll see what happens. But that means they're going to be they're going to be responsible for a lot of anime. Um, so yeah, fire up that Netflix, Netflix subscription if you don't already have it. Um, a Kickstarter launched this week for a, a program called Halloween Pajama in Seattle, which is an original manga by Yasuhiro Irie, who you may know as the director of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, he is looking to raise 20 million yen, which is about $170,000 US, by December 5th, so it's actually a little while from now, about a month and a half. Uh, and he's looking to fund, it's not going to be a full series, a 20 minute episode essentially with an opening and ending. And um, if he gets the money, uh, it should take about a year to make it. So it should be done around December of 2018 if the campaign funds. Um, it is based on this one chapter of the manga that is actually available. Uh, he's published it in English on the Kindle, and there's a PDF download as well. So if you're curious, just Google Halloween Pajama in Seattle, and you'll find this, this thing, and you can read it, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, a variety of backer rewards, uh, including access to the digital soundtrack, and uh, rough sketches and things along those lines. Also interesting, there are backer tiers specifically for corporations who want to fund the anime. Uh, that's remarkable because it 
it points to this idea that you could possibly have like fans and companies both getting in on this at the same time and being kind of um, rewarded appropriately for both of their uh, involvement. That's really interesting. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, finally, uh, this was an interesting story. The uh, Mazinger Z upcoming anime film, I'm sorry, live action film, I believe. Uh, nope, anime film. Um, Mazinger Z Infinity will premiere in Europe when it comes out. The announcement had a line saying that screenings in the U.S. and Latin America were upcoming. Then that line got removed. Anime News Network followed up and they said, yeah, actually, we're not planning. We don't have any screenings scheduled for North America or Latin America, just Europe. That's weird. Um, it will be airing in Japan, obviously, as well. But the Rome Film Fest will premiere it in, uh, on October 28th in Italy, with a theatrical opening in Italy um, a couple of days later. And a Go Nagai will be there, actually, which is pretty cool. So if you're in Italy, that would be a great chance to go see uh, Go Nagai. Uh, and it, yeah, it opened in Japan in January uh, with uh, other uh, theatrical openings in other European countries uh, in November and December. So that's really interesting that Mazinger is going straight to Europe. A lot of anime gets uh, partial funding and production work from Europe. Uh, over, you know, that's happened quite a few times over, uh, over the years, but I'm not familiar with that happening in this case with Mazinger. So I don't know why they're doing that. Um, kind, of, kind of surprising, but who knows. So Europeans, congratulations, you get some new anime. That's all the news for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I hope you watch more interesting anime.